So I got some questions about how I turned this electromagnetic field recording, or EMF, from this broadband noise into an unstable electric sparking sound. Here's just a short breakdown of what's going on under the hood. So I start with a high pass filter cutting out everything below 150 and a low pass filter cutting out everything basically above 16. It already immediately cleans it up a lot. The reason I do this is because neither were adding much sonic character and they were just eating up a lot of headroom. Next, I denoised the low mids. to mitigate the broadband frequency wash that's going on and just leave more tonal content. Filter Freak 2 is adding some EQ movement with converging bell curves, which are being tuned via this threshold over here. So you can already hear some of that sparking coming, like starting to shine through. And the reason for that is because these are moving in response to the end, the volume envelope. And so as those sparks happen, it naturally causes this to move, which emphasizes them in a really nice way. This is followed by a saturator plug-in. And the truth is, this actually could have come before, and then you could mess with the threshold that way. It's worth experimenting with moving all of these around, depending on your source. In this instance, it would have affected the threshold in a way that I found to be just too much of an effect. And adding some grit afterwards with the saturator ended up emphasizing those sparks and the high-end frequencies in a way that I found very pleasing. Then, similar to before, I'm using Filter Freak 1 to add some envelope-based movement. This one is just modulating a low pass filter. After that is Transgressor 2, and I love Transgressor 2 since it allows for different EQ on the transient versus the tail. And so dialing in the threshold, I can make those hard cracking hits for the sparks. However, this is sounding a bit too harsh, so I'm using Oxford Inflator to both emphasize the work that Transgressor 2 is doing, while also adding some warmth to offset that high end. And of course there is a bit of a volume boost that comes with Oxford Inflator. OTT is doing what it does best. And that's bringing up the mid and high detail through upward compression. I've only got it set to 20% mix and scooping out the low end to prevent the buildup of muddiness. Then following this whole chain is just an EQ and limiter. The CQ isn't doing much other than adding some small final adjustments. Sweet. I hope that was helpful.